we start to look towards light, illumination, and actually a way of having a perception of Christ. When we call on the Lord, Adonai Yeshua, Hamashiach, actually, in building forth that, what we end up seeing is that it's not only divine emanation that comes forth from our Creator, but it is also that we therefore then are able to take the actions necessary to have creation and formation and blessings from this world. Jesus teaches us all of this. But it is to understand when we talk about the throne of heaven, the case of David, the throne of David, then you are also building for Hokman, the Nile, Gedullah. Actually, the mighty work of God and the strength that cometh forth within the edification of the temple itself, that we ourselves have then edified and built forth with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and that the actual word of God is set forth not only within the ideas of the spit up that we end up seeing, but also within the very foundation of the kingdom of heaven. So that when Jesus says, Well, what shall I compare the kingdom of heaven? He's using a parallel for the Malchus, the Shemachayim. But that is actually building forth the very foundation of all of the principal qualities. So that when we seek for peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, love, yes. And love within itself is actually the foundation of all of the law that's given to Moses. You see, when we learn to love God with all of our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength, we therefore then have completed everything that He has asked for us. Ani yochet hashim lekol levifka lekol meyodecha. When we look at the word benefish, actually the word that you end up seeing for the soul, also ends up connecting with the Nehruach and the Nehaya. Nehaya is actually having a higher understanding of the principles that where within the body itself, it is a temporal essence. We end up having the physical portion, but the actual spirit and the Nehaya become up to like the Yechuda. It is showing us that this lives on forever. It is the spiritual essence that has the eternal blessing of God. So when we talk about the mitzah, it is to say victory, but also eternity. And this is part of the foundation of the mercy that we end up seeing living and contrasted from the splendor of God. So that the splendor that we receive in the flesh is paralleled by the victory and the eternal everlasting blessing that the soul and the spirit has that leads us into the high and the end of life. Now these are the different levels of the soul. Now in Western civilization, we talk about the id, ego, or the superego, to understand morality in a higher essence and how we end up having a higher perception. But that's even an understanding of psychology. Psychology itself is actually the study of the soul, literally, nefesh. And so that's where we end up seeing it, why we end up seeing the parallel. And how we end up there understanding how there is a spiritual connection to what we end up seeing within the sciences and how they actually end up complementing each other. So that when you start to appreciate that, what we can see is how they therefore are building onto each other and giving us an appreciation for the soul itself. So it's not simply psychological, but it's actually looking towards the greatest commandment that's given from Jesus Christ himself, and that is David brought forth in my Judaism as well. That blessing is one of the blessings I want to pray for you today. It's to have love. Love for your neighbor, love for your creator, love for yourself. If you love yourself, you can love your neighbor. And if you can love your neighbor, you learn to love God. God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you. Shalom.